Renewable technologies are leading the way in the energy transition towards a fossil-free future. By reusing, recycling and upcycling products, Steiner Recycling investors are helping to make the circular economy a reality. To secure a bright future, circular economic principles and the energy transition must work together. At Vestas, we are committed to lead the transition towards a world entirely powered by renewable energy. When technology and science matures, the strategy around how we handle products at end of life needs to advance in parallel. We have an ambition to produce zero waste wind turbines by 2040. To deliver on this goal, we have to find a way to integrate composite materials, which wind turbine blades are made of, into a circular economy loop. Today, around 90% of a wind turbine is already recyclable, but composite materials, particularly the epoxy resin, which keeps the blade materials together, have been a persistent challenge. Until now, in the CTEC project, which was a collaboration between the Danish Technological Institute, Aarhus University, Olin and Vestas. The parties found a way to separate blade materials, which enables the different materials to enter their own recycling loops. Vestas and Stainer Recycling have established a partnership to test the new chemical process that enables decommissioning and reuse of epoxy-infused turbine blades without altering their design or material composition. Together, they're focusing on scaling this innovative disassembly process into a commercially viable solution. In Stena Recycling, our strategy is to create circularity in the material streams. Our expertise with our in-depth material knowledge is to take that technology and scale it to an industrial level. We have been creating new solutions for the renewable sector, especially within batteries and solar panels. We have scaled our technologies and now we want to do the same with the wind turbine blades. Thousands of tons of wind turbine blades are getting close to retirement. This of course brings the question how to handle the waste from the composite materials that these blades are made of. As wind energy generation accelerates to avoid greenhouse gas emissions, of course this problem will only become bigger. And that is why it is so important that we develop and scale the right recycling technology, which will be a key step forward to tackle exactly this challenge. It's important to understand that uh, scaling a technology is a rather complex assignment. We are very observant about efficiency and yield, but at the same time safety. So when we are evaluating technologies, we of course have to make sure that we don't create a pollution around in the environment. The technology, the cutting methods that we are looking for, need to be extremely strong. The blades are, they are big, some of them are more than 100 meters long. So when we have to transport them, obviously we have to cut them into smaller pieces so we can pack them and optimize the transportation, hence reduce CO2 emission from doing that. Once mature, this solution will mark the beginning of a circular economy loop for all epoxy-infused blades. The next step is delivering the blade parts to Stainer Recycling, where the recycling process begins. Mm -hmm.